The BA International Relations was set up in 2013 to provide a cutting edge introduction to the field, drawing upon scholars from across King's College London. It's led by the Department of War Studies, which is already an interdisciplinary department concerned with many of the most important or pressing life and death issues that face the international. But it's taught collaboratively with the Department of European and International Studies and the Global Institutes. Students would come to King's because it combines the best of the old and the new. Uh, King's has a rich heritage and tradition. It's a place of great achievement, grand buildings, you see it all around. Uh, but it also is what you expect. It's a global university. Uh, we recruit the best scholars from around the world. And accordingly, we attract the brightest and most inquisitive students uh, from around the world. I chose King's first and foremost because it's a university located in London. So I felt like doing international relations, it's best to also be located in a really international city. All the global government agencies, institutions and also financial institutions all have at least an office here. So it's really easy to get internships or get in contact with possible employers and actually get an insight in the work I might be doing. Students come from across the world, many from across Europe, but also from much further afield, from China, Japan, uh, America, um, Russia and elsewhere. Coming from Finland, it's not very international. We're not a centre, we're not a global hub of diplomacy, NGOs and international organisations, which London is. Students are attracted to the programme by extremely high quality of teaching and dedication from their staff. Small classroom teaching provides an intimate and, um, and extremely rich learning experience, whilst lectures by leading experts will provide you with an, a very strong grounding in the field. The great thing about being at King's is that you can go and talk to your lecturers who are not just very friendly and very helpful, but they also um, are generally at the top of their field. King's stuck out because it was really um, broad in the first year, so you get international history as well as contem contemporary security issues. But then in your second year, you have the possibility to go into more depth in the regions and areas that actually interest you. In the third year, you take one regional specialism. The regional specialisms on offer at the moment are India and South Asia, China and East Asia, the Americas, the Middle East and Europe. The idea here is that after having gained a broad set of skills or or knowledge base in international relations in the first year, and then brought them into greater focus in your second year, you then ground that knowledge in the regional study of historical and geographic specificity. In this way, the course really brings you to the cutting edge of the study of international relations. So I'm spending my second year at UCLA, which is a brilliant university um, in California, and the reason I got to do that was because Kings have got a study abroad scheme. I've got friends on my course who are going to Sciences Po. I've got friends going to Georgetown, to Hong Kong University. Before I came to Kings, I was quite certain that I'm going to become a diplomat. But now Kings and the course here showed me that there are way more possibilities what you can actually do with the degree of international relations. So our students, when they graduate, they go on to careers typically in the military, in the diplomatic service, um, in international organisations and international non-governmental organisations and charities and also in the private sector and principally in um, consultancy and risk analysis also for private security companies and also quite a few will go in uh, to media and finally obviously uh, we, we tend to have to find many of our students go off to work in think tanks in Washington or Berlin here in London or back in Delhi.